If you love the Proteus line, you're now getting two more focal length and interchangeable flare. Check it out. Udi Tirosh here at IBC 2023. We are here with Annie at the Laua booth. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. So Annie, uh, some exciting news for the Proteus line. Tell us about it. Yes, so we are bringing two new focal lengths to IBC and we are also showing the first time our Proteus Flex. So basically it's a new set with uh, interchangeable flare color options. So what kind of flare options do you have? Um, so at first Proteus is that comes with blue, amber, and silver. And user has to um, select the preferred color and buy it. And it's just come with that kind, that one color. And so you pick the color, you pick the lens, you basically yes. pick the flare color. Yes. And if you go for the blue, um, people can only use for sci-fi and just for certain vibe of the scenes. And that's why we are thinking to provide more flexibility to the users on the on um, the flare color, so they can go for the warmer tone for some um, vibe, mood, uh, moody scenes, as well as the silver, which is um, people more preferred like new, more neutral and more manageable flair. That's why we come up with the Proteus Flex, which people only need to buy one set of Pro Proteus while having three, um, all, all three flair color options. Yeah, so by um, changing the glass element inside, so we have a modular tube here, and this is the amber version, and we have also the blue version and it comes with natively the, the silver one so people can interchange the this element inside within 10 minutes by themselves so it's really easy and really flexible for not only the user and the rental house as well so yeah. you're not just changing like putting strings inside the filter you're actually changing the optics of the lens yes you're right so um, we are changing um, the anamorphic part uh, in the in the Proteus and then um, the, f the lens coating are inside and that's why it uh, we need to swap um, be in between the, the the glass elements and change the flare color it's not just about it's not um, produced by filter yeah yeah and then will this uh, flares will they be compatible with the Proteus that are already on the market um, right now it's not um, um, switchable but we are planning to have some program to entertain um, the, the buyer that have already bought the Proteus. Yeah, and this version will be available like end of this year. Uh, it will be available um, exclusively at Caslo um, mid-October this year. And then we'll have it um, available worldwide end of this year. And um, we, yeah, we, we do offer some program and probably um, the price will be more transparent um, after the launch. Yeah. Okay. So we know availability mid-October. Do you have a price range for me? Um, primarily, uh, it's going to be double the price as um, for as the standard Proteus. Yeah, we um, we we try to offer a, a more economical solution to the rental house. Okay. And how about focal length? So what do you have new in that front? Yeah, so um, at the beginning of 2023, we announced four focal lengths, the 35, 45, 60, and the 85. And then now we are showing um, the 28 and the 100 millimeter at IBC, and people loved it. So a total of six lenses covering from 24 all the way up to 100? Um, and the widest would be 20 okay. for the Proteus, and the, the, the more telephoto side would be 135. So, and do you have plans to release more focal lengths, uh, intermediary? Um, I think we'll stick with the eight focal lengths that we announced and see um, how people perceived. But I think we have covered a very versatile range for the anamorphic series already. Yeah. Okay, Annie, thank you so much for having yeah. us. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I love um, your channel and hope your channel is. <laughs> thank you, no, you guys are doing a great job. Thank you so um, much. Uri Tiroche, DIY Photography, IBC 2023. We're gonna keep walking the floor. Stick around for more news.